Hey everybody, this is Kim from Put a Cup in It, one part of our little passy team. And instead of one of our very planned out, storyboarded, educational videos, I thought it would be fun at, as this year is wrapping up to give everyone a glimpse into my cup stash. Now these are not my used cups. These are cups that I have collected over the years as part of being in Put a Cup in It, and before I started Put a Cup in It, sort of what I was doing with my old website, which was a cloth diaper website where I was already starting to do some menstrual cup content. Although I'd say 98, 99% of these cups have come as part of the Put a Cup in It mission where we ask the brands who we work with, um, not necessarily who we work with, just people that we include in our resources, and that would include our Put a Cup in It chart, and our put a cup in a quiz. Um, generally, when we add someone to the chart, we ask them to send each of us, Amanda and I, a cup to have on hand, not only to photograph for the comparison, uh, the visual chart, which is what Amanda does, um, but I want one as well so that I might want to review it, uh, test it out. I might want to keep it in my demo stash so that when I do in-person events, I have an example of this particular brand. I also like to have these for our Instagram channel where I take most of the pictures for our beautiful feed and having these brands gives them some awareness so people know about all these options that are out there, it gives me something to play with and um, speaking of our Instagram, I would really, really love it if our YouTube audience would go follow us over there. We post pretty pictures, we do lots of fun story polls and um, Q&As and things like that. And we are just like 500 followers shy of 10,000, which is driving me crazy. I really want to hit that mark. So if anyone has a minute, I'm going to link that. You guys can hop over to Instagram, look at our pretty pictures, and be part of the community over there. But that's one of the reasons I love brands to send me a version. And I like to have two. We ask that they send us each two because um, we want to try the cup. In most cases, we want to try it out and see what we think of it, but we don't want that demo cup um, for our vaginas to be part of our photography stash. We don't take pictures of used cups because if we've used them, they may be stained. Um, just the handling, of course, I don't put used cups in, um, in my demo stash when I'm doing educational events. I like to tell people that all of the cups that I bring, whichever cups they are, are brand new. Even though they might not be in packaging, they've never seen the inside of a vagina, which is kind of they're missing out on their points <laughs> if they're just sitting in our demo stash. But that was a long intro for a very casual video that you probably just want to see what kind of cups I have. So let's take and empty this purse and look at what's here. So um, I haven't even really unboxed this. This is the new cup from Leona, which, oh, I have. Where's that cup? <laughs> what great packaging. Um, I am so into packaging. So this is one of the cups that came out in 2018. It's called the Leona Air Valve. Amanda and I are still kind of on the fence about what we think about this cup, and we're not sure if we're going to review it or not. And of course, our review queue is quite long, so if we do, it'll be quite far in the future. Um, and what you might not be able to detect in the video is that it has these air channels, which in their um, advertising, they say that these, um, when you pinch the base, even just a little bit, it kind of helps release the suction instead of um, having to really reach up to break the seal. But what they don't tell you is that this was the um, sort of the prototype for the Loon Lab cup that we sort of made fun of quite a bit because it had some RFID chips that were supposed to read what, um, how much flow you had and give you readings and information like a smart cup, a smart vagina. Um, and so that did not pan out, this was a Kickstarter and that same company ended up coming up with the Leona Airflow, um, which is this. And so I have this in my stash. They have a small and a large. Um, and so you can see there it has that it demonstration. And they do uh, a demo with a balloon, which is pretty convincing, actually. Um, but, you know, was this just sort of designed as an afterthought um, because they had all this money invested into the research and they came out with this instead of Smart Cup? Um, I'm kind of betting on that, so I haven't had the chance to try this just because there's other ones. I'm not saying it's a total fail or it's a total win. I'm just saying, I don't know. 
we kind of have mixed feelings about it because of the way they handled their Kickstarter. Um, but the fun fact is that they named this after Leona Chalmers, who invented the uh, Tasset Cup in 1937, so it was kind of a nice little nod to the inventor of that. I didn't organize these beforehand, but these are, well, let's look at this. This was a new cup that came out this year. These are the Tampax cups, the uh, large or what they call heavy flow and the regular flow. We did a, a very extensive review and video about these cups. That was sort of a big deal this year. So we have a couple demo versions of these we were sent before they came out. Uh, and then we were eventually sent um, a more official packaging. This is the case that comes with it. So I typically keep those. And in our video, we go quite over extensively um, things about the design. And yeah, here we go. It uh, does fit nicely into their little case, which is pretty cool. Um, and we've got lily cups. I love lily cups for photography because they're just so darn pretty. Um, this is their small. And we have quite a few of the Lily Cup varieties. This is their small compact. Um, this is their large compact. I even have the Ziggy Disc in here. Ooh, let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. There it is. It's always easy to spot these because they're that fun matte silicone. They have such brilliant pinks. I love their coloring. And um, I love the design of their cups visually, especially their classic, their, their original. Um, they're very sculptural, they're very pretty, um, they're so soft, they're too long for me, uh, this, this cup in particular, um, but it's just the softest silicone. So I love seeing, um, I take lots of pictures of these because they're so photographic, or they're so photogenic. Um, this is the new XO Flow Mini, that also came out this year since we were just on the Intimino one. This one's a much shorter one, so we're actually gonna try to get a review of this one done. It's more uh, of a starter, a, a user starter friendly length because a lot of Intimino cups are quite long compared to other ones and a little on the long side just for an average cervix. So um, it's soft, it is also collapsible, has a, um, a pretty soft little tall thing there. And um, just, just a nice little, uh, Tiny cup, but the rim's pretty firm, which helps it open up. Um, so this is the uh, the XO Flow, the mini that came out, and this was funded by Kickstarter, which I thought was um, was an interesting way to do it. I don't think I'll be able to show you every single cup in here, <laughs> but I'll try to show you as many as I can without making this so long. I love, again, I love the design of this cup, just visually. It's got the X in it, which is so pretty, and it gives it that structure. Um, a rimless design, beautiful um, stem. I love that. So that came out this year, and we have that. This is a brand from Korea. It was such a cool box. And this is, I wouldn't be able to say this exactly, Tiet Cup or Tiet Cup. Um, we'll just attempt to butcher that. And from South Korea. This is a lot of unboxing because I haven't had a chance to open this one yet. And they sent us a few. And this is a unique design. It does have measurement lines. It's sort of bulbous, so you get a, a, a higher capacity um, on the firmer side. A nice flat stem. It's not hollow. You've got grip rings. So these are the kind of the first impressions you're seeing here. The suction cup or the suction holes are at this little indentation place, and it has quite a uh, pronounced rim if you include the entire thing is, is what you would consider a rim. So that's really cool. Um, I was looking forward to getting this. It, I like seeing that people are continuing to explore different shapes. There's only so much you could do. I mean, look at all these cups. They are all kind of the same in most ways, but um, you know, when you add different firmnesses, different rim styles, different bottom shapes, different stems, um, it gives you something for everyone, and that's what we love at Put A Cup In It, is matching people up with the cups that are going to work best for them. Um, and again, our, our quiz is really helpful at that. We can't include every single cup. We choose the ones that are um, mostly available, widely available to our audiences, so are very hard to get. Um, not everyone can order something like this from Korea until, you know, worldwide shipping is available for most of these brands. Actually, they did thicken the stem up. Look at that. 
Um, so that's another change that they made on this one. I don't know if they made it for their larger one because this is quite dinky. Um, we have heard of people pulling that off. So maybe they did that for the larger one as well. What else we got in here? We've got Lena's of different shapes and or different sizes and colors. Lena is just a good all around brand. It's such an easy one for us to recommend because it's widely available and it works for so many people, which is why it's one of our top quiz results. Um, and they come in fun colors, which I think everyone appreciates. This is their pink one, um, one of their, their original, their very original color. Salt's another brand that we, there's two of them, Salt. These are another like super nice brand that work for most people, widely available. They have beautiful packaging. I love their packaging. It's just phenomenal. Um, and they're a great company. We've worked with them a lot. So um, we really like recommending them, not just because the cup works really well for most people who try it, but also because we love their customer service and you know their branding and everything. And speaking of brands that we really love, we love Lunette as well. Um, have always loved Lunette. It was my first Goldilocks cup. I'm picking off hairs. I'm going. Um, this is their larger one. This is their smaller one. Um, I like there's a good differentiation between these two sizes. So it's easy to say you're a size one, you're a size two, and they're actually different. So not all brands are very different. Um, different diameter, different in length. They have also very fun colors. They've done some fun things this year with, uh, or last year with Monkey uh, in the UK. This is one of my rare ones. So I don't buy many cups because, well, I can't buy every single cup that comes out. It would cost a fortune. I couldn't tell you the retail value of the number of cups that I have demo versions of. And I know everyone who's really loving cups and loves trying new cups is probably drooling at the fact that I have this massive box. Um, it's just not realistic for most people because it's not their jobs. I am rich in cups. So <laughs> um, I did buy this cup. It looks weird because I was test. I was doing some stuff with it to try to make a, a visual display thing and it didn't work out so much. So the holes look weird. Um, it's made in France. Uh, it's Le, uh, La Mazuna. Um, I bought it in Germany. It was at this zero uh, waste package free store, which was a great store for me to visit. So fun. Um, and you very rarely see cups on shelves. So this was a brand I'd never even heard of. Heard of. It's a very unique, cool stem, but it is, I mean, this is just the softest cup I've ever seen. So um, if you really need a soft cup, this brand has a few sizes, but um, not quite one you can get in the States that I've seen anywhere. And this is another fun cup. This is the monthly cup mini, um, and it's just tiny. I mean, just so tiny compared to, let's say, um, another regular small um, the smallest cup for salt, and this is the mini. So um, it's wonderful that you have so many options. This is another kind of rare cup, and I have three sizes of this one somewhere in here. Here's another one. And um, of course, the miniest, they call it a, here it is. There we go. Let's rearrange those. You can actually see what, this is, this is based on the Femi Cycle design, which I'm sure a lot of people know of. And it's that bulbous cup with these uh, different hook stems versus um, a, a flat stem or whatever. And this is what they call the trial or the tester. So if you're someone who's not used to an internal product, you can kind of test this, uh, get used to putting something in your vagina, which not everyone, either culturally or just whatever reason. Here's another unique cup. It's fun to see like all these different cups. Before my camera cut me off because I ran out of memory, uh, I was just talking about the Fun Cup and so we're getting back in. Um, the Fun Cup is made by, there's a couple cup companies that are, um, they, uh, that stem from a sex toy company, uh, Fun Factories one, this is the Fun Cup and so they make sex toys. They now make a silicone cup, makes a lot of sense. You have silicone toys, make silicone cups, they all go in your vagina, they just have different functions. Um, and they have a very unique curved design with a very rigid tip. It's kind of like a strawberry. It has these little um, dots on it that make it like a strawberry. And also, this is a slanted opening here. So um, I just wasn't able to get it to work well, and I, I ran out of time to really try it because there's just so many things to put in my vagina. And I can't spend six months trying to get one cup to work. If it's not working for me, I just kind of have to move on. So 
if you're wondering, it did work for Amanda, but I think the larger one, the smaller one might have suctioned to her cervix and caused some issues there because it's a small opening, um, and that tends to happen for her. Um, but it's a really cool cup. They come with a fun package design thing. This is the Femi Cycle that just looks like that for Moonsa. I think I didn't even tell you the brand of this. I said all about this cup. This is the For Moonsa uh, line of cups, these three sizes that we were talking about earlier. Whew. Very off the cuff here. This is the Femi Cycle. It's clear. It's one of those stickier silicones. Um, pretty firm, so it's not something that works for me because it puts bladder pressure. The style of cup is very similar to the Marula, since we're talking about bulbous cups. I have tried this one. This is one that I have put in my vagina and cleaned and sanitized, but um, it has a wide opening. It doesn't have that no-spill design. Um, but it's had that ladder stem. I just had to remove the ladder stem. I had an XL. This is why companies, I mean, not to be like, oh, y'all need to send me all the cups. But y'all need to send me all the cups because I can't really use this in in-person demos because I've used it um, and it, it, I've trimmed the stem to try it out. And I only had one Marula XL, which I also used to try, and it worked even better than this one in terms of comfort, which I was surprised about. But I don't have a, a heavy flow. A friend of mine has a super heavy flow, Jen. She was featured in our heavy flow video. And I wanted her to try the XL, so I boiled it and I sent it over to her. And she boiled it and she was trying it. And I only had the one, so I don't have a, a Marula XL. Um, black cups are always popular. People love black cups, and I have a selection here. I even have a very rare Super Jenny black, which they didn't really make a lot of. So we did a promotion with them, and I needed one to photo. So I have one. That's fun. And this is a lady cup. I believe this brand is um, based in India. And they have a neon one, which I really like, too. They have some fun colors. Oh, here it is. It's like such a cool neon. It's their small. Love this cup for color. It's just so different. Uh, this is the dot cup. It's very similar, um, even slightly softer than Diva Cup. So I think if you're looking for something like a Diva Cup, this one is fairly similar. has a, a, a firmer rim, which is always good for opening. And they only make this one size of cup, so there's no dot small, dot large. It's a dot, just one dot, um, with a little stem and some pronounced grip rings. Um, they kind of cracked me up. <laughs> if you guys want the behind the scenes, we were doing a Halloween special. Wanted to give away some black cups and do a promotion, and they didn't want to be part of it because they didn't want their cup associated with um, Halloween because they, it's just their only color. They didn't want to pigeonhole it as a um, occult or spooky or dark Halloween uh, association. Uh, I don't have a black ruby cup, so I can't show you that. And I have the lolly cup brand. So anyway, that kind of cracked me up because, you know, we don't do tacky photos or anything. But <laughs> uh, they were like, no, we'll pass, and that's fine. It just was sort of funny to me because it's, it's funny to me. This is uh, an example of a flex, which is that disposable disc, and I keep some of these around in case we want to do some photos or comparisons of, of flex discs, um, plastic disposable, um, and you put them in like this. We do have a review of the flex. What else we got that you might be interested in seeing? We have so many. Uh, Scoon Cup, I only have one size. It bothers me when I don't have the full set, so I can't even show you the comparison, but it's another one of those um, tacky style cups. And um, it's also soft, fairly soft. So we have a firmness chart where we do, and this is, I mean, this is exactly how we do our firmness comparisons. We sit here and we um, compare, we, we take two, um, and we just really squeeze them and, and feel how they feel in our hands and try to compare them because um, there's really no true way to measure firmness for cups. They're so dependent on the shape as well as what we would call the shore rating, which is the thickness um, uh, of the silicone and that firmness. But that doesn't come into play when you're squeezing two things together that are in a certain shape. So you really do squeeze them one by one next to each other and say, oh, okay, tell me how firm you are. Um, and that's how we do it. This is a TPE cup. So I think actually all the cups I've talked about so far, except for Hello, have been um, multi-grade, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, medical grade, 
<laughs> not multi-grain, that's a Cheerio. You guys, I am tripping. Um, but TPE is another medical grade type of material, so medical grade silicone. TPE is sort of an alternative if you're allergic to silicone. Um, but the interesting thing about TPE versus silicone is that they hold their shape. So um, you may have seen in my Hello Cup review, I removed a Hello Cup and it was kind of like this um, in an oval shape because I guess I'm an oval up there. So um, I ended up, to make sure it didn't leak when I put it back in, I'd have to run it under some warm water and sort of re-round it up. Um, but, you know, on the flip side, you know, that was the negative side of it. On the positive side of it, um, you know, it can really mold to your shape um, and really, you know, be a custom fit. So there might be some benefit to a TPE or a silicone cup in that case. This is an OI cup, but it's sort of a white label cup, so you might see it as called um, that time of the month, TOTM. It's carried in Tesco if you're in uh, the UK. And they have three sizes. Um, it's that popular pink shade that we have um, so many of. This is their mini one I like. I think this one might be their uh, largest. Nope. Yes? No? Yeah, this is their largest. So this is the OI brand, Organic Initiative, but again, there are some other brands coming out. Same exact cup, it's just a different name. We talk about that in our white label posts, you can find on our blog, we can link it, but there are some cups that look exactly the same and they are good cups. Not, we're not talking about the generic Alibaba, eBay $5 cups, which we steer, want you to steer clear of based on you know, regulations and safety issues and even um, intellectual property concerns where they're copying you know, legitimate brands and taking their design. These, um, you know, these people are doing it the right way where they're contacting a company with a unique design and asking to make, you know, sell their own with this white labeling. Um, and so that's something you see in lots of different industries and we're seeing it a lot more with cups. So people will ask us, well, is the time of the month cup on your chart? It is, is the OI cup. And so that's the same for the Sabelle cup, which is one we really love. And now Sustain, that natural vegan condom company, has come out with their own cup, which is a Sabelle. So, um, you know, it's called Clara Farm somewhere else and different different names. I wish I could find one to show you. Interesting. And I can't find it. Can't find the darn thing. You might table that a second. This is one that everyone loves. Crowd favorite. This is the large of the Yuki Rainbow. Um, there's a brand that has kind of copied this rainbow marble uh, design that they have and they sell them cheaper um, but I don't know what their standing is on their um, FDA clearance and all so um, but you could get it first so if, you know they always get to be the first even if other people are able to copy this design Yuki came out with their rainbow first and it's just beautiful I mean if you're gonna put something in your vagina why not have it be beautiful right this is so pretty um, the smaller one is in my box back here um, this is a one, a one that we put in a lot of pictures, different colors of it, Cotton Mermaid, here's an orange one. They have some fun colors, another overseas brand, similar, um, unique stem, it has what you probably can't see, it has these little fish scales, like mermaid scales, and it has scalloping design at the top. So they're pretty soft cut, we have it on our firmness chart as well, but they come in fun colors and people always ask us where they're from and they're Cotton Mermaid, we tag them and we share their stuff on Instagram. Um, I always have demo diva cups from doing mommy con, they sell, no, they, they always uh, send these demo cups for people to play with with information about the brand which is so nice to have um, and these are diva cups, diva cups, everyone's seen those right? Juju! We should totally play with Juju a little bit. And that's something that released new cups this year. They released new sizes of their cups. They had their size one, and, or you know, their size one, size two, now they have a three and a four. Um, this is their low cervix and the high cervix is not in my bag. But this is their low cervix. It's just a very short 
cup if you have a low cervix, and theirs are so crystal clear, they're frustrating to photograph, let me tell you, but they have these beautiful little kind of floral, butterfly-looking grip rings, which is so unique. I like a unique cup. I like something that's different from the others. A low cup, a low cup. This is their 261, and this is their teen cup, and that came out this year. It's very miniature. It's not intimidating. That's what I want to see from a cup that markets itself as a teen cup. I want it to look little and friendly and comfortable and cute. Um, so this is their teen, and actually adults, I'm sure, can use it as well. Petite or very fitness-centric uh, people with a toned pelvic floor. Very cute. It has that um, very unique to them toggle handle, and this is a New Zealand base brand. We met them in New York. They are so nice. They're definitely our kind of people. Love them. And this is a Lulu cup, uh, another new newish brand to us, and I like it. It's similar to a Schoon, um, but... I'd say a little bit firmer. And what else we got here? This is a Super Jenny, which used to be the highest capacity cup. Marilla XL now is, but we don't have one of those to show you. And I really did want to show you the Selena brand. And they have really, they have three sizes. And check it out. This little mini one is so cute. It has these um, ring handles, which usually only Maluna has mostly. So, um, this is what they have, very pronounced grip rings. And I do like this brand. I like their options. They also have an active version. Um, this is one of my Maluna demo cups. I have lots of those. This is one of their types of stems. Oh boy, look at all this stuff. I hope I didn't forget to talk about one I really wanted to talk about. Oh, here's a Sabelle. So this is the, the brand that also white labels. Is one of my favorite cups. It's on the uh, softer average side. And it's just a nice little cup. They have two sizes. Um, also, they have more than two sizes now because Clara Farm is a Sabelle, um, but they have two more sizes. So I don't know how that works out to be. But um, it has these kind of ring, uh, lines and it gives it a little more structural integrity, but it's still really soft. So if you experience um, slower urine streams or bladder pressure, then this is um, a nice option for you and a very comfortable stem you can easily trim. So this is what Sustain now has um, and some other brands. So the Sustain has been marketing their new period cup. It's a Sabelle. I mean, that's fine. People are doing all this white labeling, but just to let you know if you've seen it, that's what it is. It's what it, uh, it is a Sabelle. I love this. I got it in Germany and it's the perfect little cup case. <laughs> so cute, it's a little mouse from Brie. Um, oh boy. So I feel like we talked about so many. We could probably be here for hours and hours and hours. Lolly Cup, I don't know if I mentioned them before because they have the three sizes. This is their smallest and this is their heavier one. So another high capacity cup. Yuki, their larger one, is also high capacity. Um, I mean, there's just so many fun colors. I love having all these fun colors to put in our images and people are, of course, drawn to these interesting colors. There aren't many colors that haven't been made yet, so got to watch out and see if someone can come up with uh, something that hasn't been come up with yet, because <laughs> looking at this, we've got most of the rainbow covered here. Um, so if you follow us on Instagram, as a reminder, you'll see pictures of all these beautiful cups, and hopefully in 2019, we can bring you lots more amazing menstrual cup content. So if you have suggestions, because we're definitely looking at what we're going to be putting on our YouTube channel and our blog for 2019. And I feel like we've answered a lot of the big questions. Our last video was pooping with the cup in. So we like to tackle all of these really weird questions, but valid questions people have. And um, we're just, we have so much more to cover, I think. It's just, you know, sometimes we blank out. I have an idea for our first video of the year, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and just, yeah, leave us a comment. Sorry, <laughs> I can't stop looking at the cups. They're all so fun. Um, leave us a comment, let us know what you might want us to cover. And that's stuff we mine from to come up with new video ideas for you. And um, ask away if you wanna uh, ask what cups that I have and don't have. I don't have Organic Cup, which Amanda has. 
And I think there's one other one that I don't have any of that Amanda has. She has all the Femi Cycles and I only have one size. And she has all the Organic Cups and I don't have any of those. Um, so that's it. I, I don't think I'll be able to close caption this because it would take um, 20 years to close caption this video. So I'm really sorry uh, if you wanted to turn the CC on. But um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Put a Cup in It on YouTube. That way you get our new videos at you when they come out immediately. Turn the little bell on and that way you get those notifications. Hopefully everyone has a wonderful new year and we'll see you in 2019. Should I do this? Oh my God. I have such a hairy carpet. It's probably a terrible idea. I've done this for another video too. We're gonna like, woo! <laughs> I can swim in these. There's so many.